Welcome to Quick 3D Tutorials. Today's video is going to be about the poly painting and the layer. In this video, I will show you how you can uh, create a layer with different color information, how you can erase this, and how you can change the layer color. So, to do this, I just uh, starting with the example of ZBrush. I hit. And now we need, of course, as you know, good just to be sure you have RGB on and go ahead, fill object. Now we have filling the object. So create a new layer. Now I want this one to be white, let's see. Of course you can just brush everything. And that is a base color. The next things I will do, I want to create a painting for it, change the color, I want to make this one as, I don't know, like so. Let's see this one be too big and I want to delete some of them, so of course I can press C and do this like so but that is a not good idea to do this why that is because you will lose uh, your texture now I don't have texture but if you have texture coloring for the for the head you will missing it and you cannot change this color later when you want to change it so I undo this so the best way is actually holding the the alt and delete but before this uh, by default, uh, ZBrush have this one turned on, and if I do this, you can see I get a shadow, which is I don't want to have this one. So press this and holding Alt key and delete. So in this case, I'm going to delete it like mask without I missing the texture. So that is a way. The second way we want to show you uh, is uh, how I can color something. Uh, let's say we can just use this excess color. Let's say I don't like this color, I have coloring it and I want to change it in the other. If be sure you are on the recording mode and uh, go ahead and change the color do you want to. Go ahead to the color fill object so now you're getting another which is the color you can do this but if you have using the c coloring it you will not do the same thing so that is a good idea to use the alt key and erase the area you don't want it so now i want to painting by the faces so if I have a model, I'm going to the lowest version, Shift-D and Shift-F, you can press this one as well. And let's see, I want just painting by the faces. So that's very simple, Control-Shift, holding in the same time and drag it, like so. And if you have selecting more, you can just Control-Shift and Alt, all three together and drag it and remove these faces you don't want and maybe you need to also check the back size of your model and maybe you don't want to have a, uh, you want to have a more polygon you want to use the growth section you can find it in the visibility and grow so you can grow it or uh, sharing it so let's see it's good with this one and if you want to use this for later painting, uh, if it is any object you want to paint and texture it later more and more, so that is a good idea. Just go ahead to Poly Group and create a group visibility. If you don't like the color, you can just press it until you getting the color. Do you want? Okay. Now Control Shift outside. You have now two group. So how we can now go ahead and painting it. 
They are very important thing. Just select all the mesh as the default. Go check your layer. Go to the highest version of the modem. And if you have a layer you have working on, just not press record. Now you can create a secondary layer and that's recording. And you need to be on the highest uh, sub uh, divisions or the highest level. Go ahead and control shift select this and shift f so not getting this uh, frame color back information and now i can just go ahead and grab the color i want i don't know any color bluish anyway so i can just calling all of this as i want it and now I'm going to control shift press outside so you have this information of the color. So that is a way to go ahead and coloring it by the geometry itself, but sometimes it is not possible. So what we're going to do, let's see I want to paint some of this area, I don't have it. So they are kind of different metal. Let's see. You can of course use this brush, a standard brush, or the paint brush as well. We're picking a color, creating a new layer too, and to getting a smooth one, of course S for the size, O for the forces, as you can see when I move it, but you can find the, them, uh, the size here and this one here. So I can just color it. So let's see, I'm going that way and I have missing kind of it. I want to this one to be round. So you can just go ahead and press, 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 press a bit like so to make it. Or just drag and very slow a bit, go ahead and you need to be very careful. It is good if you have touch screen on your computer or uh, pen to do this. But if you don't have, so they are kind of this way, you can use. Uh, the second, you can also of course use the Alt key and deleting these things. You can also make it smaller and just put it like so. And later you can use Photoshop if you want and if you don't want so you can just zoom very inside and be very detailing with this and small 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 and you can do this but if you want to drag like uh, let's say you want to create eye brow for she or he like so, it is the best way is just go ahead and try with the mouse until you're getting the shape you want to be, okay? So that is a quick thing to do, but that is best if you have touch screen or the pen uh, to painting inside this. But if you don't have it, just uh, export your uh, texture inside Photoshop and with a pen tool, you can just find what thing do you want to have. And if you don't know about the pen tool inside the Photoshop, I will just show you how it works. So now we are inside Photoshop and I just very quickly show you how you can do this. New layer and I have, let's see, I take any color, right click to get the brush size. And let's see that was my texture inside brush and I want to get it very smooth uh, and I don't have any pen or touch screen so the thing you can do use go to the path and creating a new layer zoom in control alt and mouse roll it will zoom in and find your pen tool which is the pen tool here and you can buy way just drag like so and if there are some of area like corner like so one you can just press one so you will get it 
but if you want to change it you can also do this so now I have just closing this that is a very quick example and let's see okay I need to make adjustment you can just use your white or gray mouse select you can use your keyboard uh, up and down to position it you can also drag it if you want and you can also drag this one okay and if you want to make something uh, different with this only this one i want to affect not the second one uh, you can also actually go ahead holding the alt and drag this as way you want it to be and drag this one as way you want it to be too And it has been broken like so so you can just give the shape that you want when you are finished so there are two way to do this I creating new layer the first one you can select a second color right click on it um, fill fill it if you want press ok so you have getting now a secondary layer with this if you want and if you want to make a struck you can do this go to the creating new layer go here and of course you can just press the brush and before brush I cannot this one brush you can find the size do you want because it's going to draw it after the line you have creating and right click and strike that you can select it of course which one now it is the brush press ok now you have the second way uh, so here is uh, what is struck here is what the fill and of course your information from ZBrush of course you need to match it more that is a quick demo how you can use it inside Photoshop